faster than an electronic transaction. More powerful than a roll of nickels. Able to leap over a piggy bank in a single bound. Look, on the corner, by the drugstore, next to the bus stop. It's Money Man! Money Man, strange visitor from another zip code, here to help you with your money. Let's go to Money Man's secret hideout, the Cash Cave, and see what he and his erstwhile sidekick, Loose Change, are doing today. And now, the little rabbit goes around the tree, and through this hole, and now you got a little bow, see? Oh, so that's how you tie a shoe. All right, Loose Change, you go practice that while I take care of some paperwork. Right, Money Man, right. Hmm, what's a three-letter word for egg? <laughs> Hmm, that sounds like the money phone. Must be the commissioner. This is Money Man in the top secret cash cave. Who's this? Oh, it is you, commissioner. What? You're kidding. I'll get right on it. Who is that, Money Man? Who is that? That was the commissioner. He had some bad news. They're closing the Dairy Queen? No, not that bad, but still bad news. What is it, Money Man? What is it? Someone just got out of prison. Who, Money Man? Who? One of my old adversaries, an arch criminal known as Penny Pincher. Penny Pincher? Never heard of her. Well, Loose Change, I've tried to shield you from these villains, but we're gonna have to go check this out. To the Money Mobile? To the Money Mobile. Ow! Oh. Looks like you tied your shoes together again. Will Money Man go out and confront his old nemesis, Penny Pincher? Will the Money Mobile even start? And will Loose Change ever learn to tie his shoes? Tune in next time when we hear Money Man say... I haven't got time for this, Loose Change. Put on your loafers. On the next nose hair plucking episode of... Money Man! From our super secret studios in a land where the trees are so far apart, the woodpeckers have to carry a lunch, it's the Health and Wealth Show. I'm Rusty, and for the next 30 minutes, you're going to hear some good news about your money. Now, here's your host, the baron of your bankroll, the fleet manager of your finances, the man who would rather fight than switch, unless the other guy's way bigger than he is, it's David Ernest. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you so much. You Thank made me you. feel so good, but I am so worried about loose change. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, something's a little bit off. Uh, little... Well, you know, I think it goes without saying he's uh, not the sharpest bulb in the drawer, as they say. Huh? I'm or is that wondering knife on the about tree, huh? his. <laughs> yeah, I am so worried about his financial IQ. Well, I I would be just worried about his general IQ, but you're probably right. <laughs> he's, he's probably not up to snuff on, you know, his, his finances and knowing what to do and where to go. But and, it's so amazing. He can still be a superstar and he can be, you know, a, a hero. He's a hero. Well, maybe I should mention to him, and, and you know, we do this several times during the program. Uh, we give out this phone number. It's 334-279-7431. And I know they've got a phone there in the... Uh, in the cash cave. Yeah. They're money money man and, uh, and loose change. Oh, yeah. And so he could just go over to the phone and call that number right there and uh, work out a time where he could uh, get with you, David Ernest, and, and find out about his finances and, and raise his financial IQ. Well, at least he could raise up some of that loose change and make it into multi-millionaire money. Remember, we had a show we were talking about there's a thin line between wealth and poor. And he's got so much change rattling around, I know he could get rich in time. Maybe he's, and probably, I think what it is, he's got it all in one pocket, so he kind of leans to one side. So he <laughs> needs to, he needs to, uh, what's the, diversify. <laughs> Put some money over in this pocket. He right needs there. to balance out. That's right. Yeah, he's off kilter there. <laughs> you know, young women and men are yeah. stepping into a new phase in their life when they graduate from school. Uh-huh. Or get into the job market. Yeah, you go out into the world out there, and you know, mom and dad aren't going to be there every minute no, anymore. It's kind of no. you know, you haven't got anything to fall back on. You got to learn to fend for yourself. Exactly. 
And poor old loose change, all he's got is money, man. Of course, that's a lot. I don't. Well, he he might be like uh, on Batman. He might be Money Man's ward. You know, he's, <laughs> he's, he may. We hadn't got that far into the series yet. We don't know if there's a secret identity involved with Money Man or not. So ah, we'll have to figure that yeah, yeah. out. You know. And, but unfortunately, financial education is not a mandatory class in most high schools or colleges. Do you know that? I know, I know it now. But money plays such an important role in, in, in our lives. I mean, all aspects of our lives, our career, our lifestyle, mm-hmm. our self-image, our marriages, our family, our health. I, see, I mean, they should have something called a money IQ test. Well, you know, I remember, and I was going to say it wasn't that long ago, but it's nearly 40 years. We had a class. They taught us how to balance a checkbook. Right. How to create a budget. Right. How to pay bills, that kind of thing. Right. And I never would have known if somebody hadn't shown me. No, I mean, you have to have mentors. Yes. Now, I mean, listen. Isn't that that little candy? No, that's Mentos. I'm sorry. (laughs) It's the fresh maker, you know. (laughs) Well, I mean, at least loose, even loose change has a mentor. Yeah, money man. Yeah, money man. He keeps him out of trouble. Yeah. Uh, you know, otherwise he probably got flushed. You know what I'm talking about? I heard yeah, him that, get in trouble one that time. That happened one time. Oh, did it? So, you know, people need to know how to do just basic things like checking their credit report or, you know. Balancing uh, the checkbook. Balancing the checkbook. What's the difference between... One investment type and another, you know, I mean, just basic things. And, uh, you know, we talk about a lot of these things, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to get too much into them right now, but the thing, you just need to know what your choices could be. Like, you know, I, I run into these people sometimes, they say, yeah, I got a 401k, but I don't ever put money in it. I, why? Why do you have it? Well, I mean, they got it available at work. Mm-hmm. But they say they don't ever use it because they don't, they don't, they, they just want to spend the money, I guess. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know. Or they don't match. Now, let me tell you, if they are not matching your 401k, or if you want to put money beyond the match, yeah, you need to absolutely call somebody like me because we can probably do some things that would amaze you. But if they're matching in your 401k, you need to do that first. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we, we were just stepped out of the studio for a minute, and you got a call. Somebody wanting to talk to you about their financial IQ, and that number is 334-279. 7431. And as I sat there, I was sitting down next to you on the couch out there. Right. And uh, you took that call. I could kind of hear it. And I knew right then they were going to be in good hands because David Ernest has been doing this for over 30 years. People don't stay in this business that long and not have success. So he's, he's no, he knows what he's doing. Well, I've been doing it a long time. And, you know, sometimes things that just leak on through, you know, mm-hmm. you get it by osmosis, you know, eventually. Yeah. Figure, and if somebody hits you in the head a few times with a sledgehammer, you'll, it'll come on through, too. You know? Yeah. So you do learn over time. That's called learning the lesson the hard way. <laughs> I've learned some the hard way I and I've learned both. some the right way. Oh, yeah. You know, so you know, keeping your credit rating high enough that you can function. A lot of people say, well, you, Dave Ramsey says you're supposed to pay off your credit cards. Mm, yes and no. Uh-huh. Credit cards, you can use them if you use them right. Mm-hmm. And you, if you pay them off too quick, your credit rating don't get built up like you need it. Right. Uh, now, you don't want to keep them up there too long because if you're paying 13 15 or 18% interest, yeah. that's not too good either. No, it's not. Not, not good. Not that's, good. That's how they get you is that interest rate. Right. So that's why you need to sit down with somebody that can show. In other words, you sit down with somebody like me, and what we do is we go over, we ask you a bunch of questions. We say, you know, what money you got over here? What money you got over there? What interest rate you paying over here? What are you making over there? What's this account worth? All these. In other words, we talk about all these different things, you see. And we ask questions like, uh, do you, uh, if you're, if, especially if you're older, do you, you know, do you plan on working some after retirement? Mm-hmm. Do, if you do, how much? Uh, what do you know what your Social Security uh, PMI is going to be? You know, do you know, do you know a lot of things? Do you know what you're going to get for this and that and the other? And a lot of times, you know, we get people ready for something that could have been bad if they hadn't known. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, two older people, and they're depending on Social Security, and they haven't really done enough savings, or they've got savings somewhere, but it's in jeopardy, or it could be in jeopardy, or they don't realize that if one of them were to die, if they didn't do some things, 
like get that explosion of dollars that we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. And widows that don't get explosions of dollars when something happens to their spouses or widowers that don't get explosions. Of, listen, widowers need money too. Because mm -hmm. that, you know, that woman, she's worth a lot. And when you lose her, you're in trouble. Yes, indeed. So it goes both ways. But what it boils down to a lot of times, somebody's left holding a bag. We've talked about that. Like that snipe hunting bag. Yeah. Essentially what happens is you're left holding the bag. You lost your Social Security. I've, uh, people all the time say, well, uh, I, I, I lost my husband's Social Security. I lost my wife's Social Security. Yeah, you, you, you can. You can keep their Social Security, but you can't keep their, yours. Right. You can't keep both of them. Hmm. And a lot of people don't know that. They think I talked to them. They say, well, I, I thought I could keep both of them. No, you can't. Uncle Sam don't allow that. No. And they say, well, I got bills. My bills are not going down. My bills are not going to go down just because my husband or my wife died. Well, uh, I know that. It costs m about the same money. They say two can live almost as much as one, you know, on, almost as much as one lives on. If you're living in the same structure and eating, you know, similar foods and mm -hmm. stuff, it's a little more expensive to have two. If you do it right, though, you can get real close. But when that other person's missing if you don't get that explosion of dollars, you're going to have a problem if you have a pre-planned. And there's so many things that can happen. I was just off the phone a little bit with someone. And they said, well, you know, my mom, I'm having to take care of my mom. Or I'm having to take care of my father. And, uh, you know, I don't have time to work because I used to work, but now I can't work. Because, you know, this takes all my time. And it's an honorable thing to do that. But that is costing a lot of money. Now, I've had other people say, well, look, I'm not going to let my husband, my wife, or my uh, loved one, my mother, my, mo my father go to a nursing home. Let me tell you something. It's all honorable. But if you don't have a plan B and they are not in the situation that you can take care of them, mm -hmm. trust me, it, it can happen. There's things that you can't control. It's just like a stock market. If it drops, and you're out there real high and it drops, you can't control that. No. There's things you can control, though. What is your, what is your financial IQ? Do you know the things you can control? Do you know the things you could do? Do you know the things you should be doing? Do you know that every day bad advice is being handed out to you? You you. You turn on the television. They want you to borrow money at high interest rates. Mm -hmm. You listen to Dave Ramsey. He tells you to strain your guts out and pay your house off. You should have been putting it in an investment. So they would have made more money. Right. Maybe. Probably. Most probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, all kinds of bad advice is being handed out. Do you have the IQ to see this? Yes, you do. You have the IQ. You just weren't applying yourself. When you were in school. When you were in school, did you ever hear anyone say, a teacher say, well, he's smart. He's just not applying himself. She's smart. She's just not applying herself. I've heard that. And, and they do some adjusting. They do some adjusting. And guess what? You come back the next quarter, the next semester, and they say, oh, my God, it's so different. They're a different person. They've been applying herself, and their grades have shot through the moon. If you apply yourself and you let someone, as an instructor, a teacher, help you, your money shoots to the moon. You can go up, my friend. Your financial IQ is not bad. It's you, unlimited if you just let it go. You got to have the opportunity to know what to do. Proper planning prevents poor performance. And you, as you say, knowledge is power. And if you want to arm yourself with some knowledge, pick up the phone, dial 334 279 Seven four three one. That'll put you right in touch with David Ernest. That's two seven nine seven four three one. And uh, what what's your website? Retire with Ernest. That's very simple. Retire with Ernest. It's like Ernest money. Yes. Just like he's always Ernest. Retire with Ernest. You can retire with us, and man, we'll help you do some things you wouldn't believe. Now, if you dial a number and you get this, Ernest. How do you do, Mrs. <laughs> Wiley? You have got the wrong earnest. Hang up and dial again. And speaking of hanging up, i got to hang up about this uh, break we got to take, but we're going to take it anyway. You stay right where you are. We'll be back with David Ernest and more health and wealth. Throughout our
our working years, we attempt to accumulate as many eggs as possible into our retirement nest. Unfortunately, many people spend their energy focusing on how to accumulate a large retirement nest egg without giving any thought to where their retirement assets should be invested. At Ernest Financial, we've put together a simple way for you to group your retirement assets. To learn ways you can protect your nest egg, download a complimentary color of money report at retirewithearnest.com or call us today at 334-279-7431. Good advice is sometimes hard to come by. That's why you should find a financial professional you can trust. There may not be such a thing as a perfect investment. Every financial choice involves trade-offs. It is helpful to have a financial professional on your side to help you organize your goals and have a better understanding of the pros and cons of any financial decision. At Ernest Financial, we focus on working with you to meet your financial goals and provide the advice that can help minimize the hazards you may face. Give our office a call at 334-279-7431 or visit us online at retirewithearnest.com. There may have been a time when the ups and downs of the stock market were exciting, but if you're retired or near retirement, for you that time has passed. A predictable return, a predictable income, and security may not be exciting, but your needs usually change as you grow older. When you are ready for a relatively more predictable instead of an exciting financial plan, call Ernest Financial. We focus on crafting financial strategies that aren't exciting, but effective. You can get your adrenaline rush elsewhere. Give our office a call at 334-279-7431 or visit us online at retirewithearnest.com. Be earnest with your money. Contact David Ernest at Ernest Financial today. Specializing in retirement rollovers. Call 279-7431. That's 279-7431. Or visit retirewithearnest.com. The best things in life are free. But you can get Welcome back to Health and, health and Wealth with David Ernest. That's David Ernest over there. I'm over here. But uh, if you need his phone number, you think, you know, I don't remember that phone number. Get you a piece of paper and write it down, 334-279-7431, 279-7431. And he's got a website, Retire with Ernest. That's all one word, right? Right. Retire with Ernest. And everybody's got that instant net. Now, they can just go on there and oh, yeah. punch it up and, oh, yeah. uh, and yeah. see yeah. your website over there right. at... Uh, I right. retire with Ernest. There and we're go. working on putting the radio shows on the websites, and we're working on a Facebook. We have yes, it. yes, we are. We've got some pictures that uh, we can put on there. I won't say who's going to be in them, but no, uh, we do well, have some startling. Well, pictures I heard that you had the perfect face for radio, so I well, hope that's you're a, in there. that's a fact. I tell you what, that's why I was never big on TV. <laughs> they always, uh, they always, we running that Godzilla movie this afternoon. You want to let us show your face one? No, that's all right. Well, you seem to be a popular character a little bit earlier today when we had lunch. I was surprised at that. And I and, was, and it kept happening. And especially, can we tell that? Yeah. Can we tell that? I've got this thing on my phone. I, I think I've given it to, uh, to, uh, Matt in the, in the booth there. He might be going <laughs> to stick it in somewhere. And whenever I get a message, Donald Trump comes on <laughs> and says, I'm Donald Trump and I approve this message. <laughs> Well, we were at this. Uh, what was the, what was the? the it's a, re, a Republican meeting, and we were there, and yeah. we were we were guests, and we were there sitting there. Somehow or another, you and I wound up on the very, very front, front row. row. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the lady who was speaking had her back. Uh, I had my back to her, but we were turning around. Right. And uh, they had everybody go around and say a little something about themselves, kind of like Sunday school. Right, right. And uh, got around to David, and the, the lady actually in, uh, recognized you. She said, this is my friend David Ernest, he, and you told about the show and everything. Then it uh, got to me, you pointed to me and said, this is Rusty, and I, I made some remark, and, you know, everybody kind of, ha, 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 ha. But then I'm sitting there, and the lady starts to speak. First off, my phone rang. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm fumbling around trying to get it turned off. Then, like, split second later, it says, I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. And everybody in place just <laughs> oh, fell it out. Perfect, man. I, it was perfect e time. Everybody was like, and I'm like, oh, man. 
because I, I didn't even think about turning the darn thing off, but we got that situated. Oh, well, just thinking a Republican meeting, if something like that happens. Just... Well, I'm glad it was Donald Trump. <laughs> For real. Well, I if they come on, I'm Martha Roby. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, well, there you go. You know, yeah. she's never been to one of those meetings, I don't think. Really? Yeah. That's now, what I heard. that would look like that would be something that would be a good idea for you to go to. Do you think? If, if you were a, uh, a Republican uh, type person. Right, right. To, to me, it's just uh, right, not, right. not being a politician, I no, might not no. understand that. No. But anyway, what is your, what is your financial IQ? And, you know, I, you're not trying to throw any, you know, shadow or shade or anything, but I would think a lot of people, it's not as good as they think. Well, your IQ, there's nothing wrong with your IQ. You know, if you're average or, you know, what they call, if when they're measuring IQs, they say anything between, I think, 90 and 110 is, nor, is the average. Mm-hmm. And right on the middle is 100, okay? So that shows your ability, supposedly, to learn and to retain and stuff like that. But if you, if you can actually train yourself to make higher points on an IQ test. Mm-hmm. You can become a critical thinker. You can become an IQ guru. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can do the same thing about knowing about money. You can up your IQ. You can become a money IQ guru, and you have to have a teacher. Teachers are reading. Reading is a good thing, but teachers teach you things to make you better, to be able to take the test better. In other words, the more the more the more schooling you have, uh, like them old folks say, the more I, they learn me well. I've been learning a lot, you know. They instead of teaching, well, got me some book learning. Got some book learning. You know, if you would just learn more about this. Now, there's two ways to do it. One is to read and one is to have a teacher. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, and there's a three way to do a combination of both. And to not always, to always be open-minded and to balance out the different things that you're hearing. Mm-hmm. You may hear something that says this, you know, we have done this and we're, we're fantastic. You know, and then when they try to put all these footnotes in there, you'll see that some of the decades they might have actually lost so much they were horrible. Right. You know, so you, it always has to do with long range stuff, not just short range. You know, um, short range can, can just like okay, a ball a ball team, a ball team could just come out and win the biggest game there ever was, and then the other nine games. In other words, they beat maybe they beat like a beat the one that was supposed to be uh, the national championship. Well, you know, just, that happened here. <laughs> I know it did. That's what I'm thinking. Man. I mean, you just don't know. It's the average. It's not the episode right then. Stock market goes up one day and you made or you bought into one stock and you became a millionaire. Okay, that's called luck and it's uh, – it's just extreme luck, just like rolling the, the lottery, the, da- the mm-hmm. dice. Right. It can happen, okay? But if you want to be a consistent, consistent IQ genius, and everybody can be if they try, what you do is you stay consistent with a plan. You stay with a plan. You know that old saying, not everyone fails to, not everyone plans to fail, they fail to plan. Uh-huh. That makes good sense. Yeah. So failing to plan will cause you to fail because you have no plan. And if you have no plan, you have no ambition. You have no no reason to do anything because you don't know what you're doing because you hadn't even tried. You're not doing anything and not doing anything, you know, just usually causes n- no results. So don't plan to fail and plan to plan a plan. I had, right. some, I had something that just kind of went away there. But plan. Plan ahead. Yes, plan ahead. Plan ahead. Have a plan. It, it needs to be written down. You know, a lot of people say, well, write it down. Mm-hmm. My wife's always saying, do you remember this? Just write it down. Well, you know, I use this little thing in the palm of my hand now. That's how I uh-huh. I don't write things down. I punch them in. Well, you know, in every pirate movie I've ever seen, they're looking for treasure. What do they got? They got a map. A map, exactly. That's it. They got that map out there looking. I go over here in the vast there and shiver me timbers. And then they find the treasure. They're not going to find it without a map. 
Yeah, and we had a show the other day. We were talking about treasure maps, and the uh, the the pirates were actually <laughs> like the IRS. And uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot to be said about things. You, you've got to have a map. It's treacherous territory out there. You got to be able to to like you have a faster ship or you have a quicker direct, you know, a, a quicker way to get somewhere. Yeah. Uh, or a better way to get somewhere or a safer way. Don't bring your ship around rocks and, and, and corals that could sink you. It will knock a hole in your hull. Knock a hole in your plan. <laughs> Stay away from it. That's right. If it's a hurricane out there, don't come in where it can tear you up. Get out there in the wide open. Let's get away from it. Now, before your ship gets to the rocks, Pick up the phone. Call David Ernest at 334-279-7431. He will get you jib-jabbed and your, your mainsails trimmed and get you back on the right course. Well, like I said, this show is about financial IQ, and finan your IQ can always be improved. Yes. People say, well, I'm not too smart on that stuff. Well, you know what? Nobody would be if they didn't know anything about it. It wouldn't matter if this is smart. You, you could be a genius mm -hmm. technically and know nothing, absolutely nothing about investing money or about how to gain wealth. You know, we had another show that said there's a thin line between being poor and being wealthy, just like there's a thin line between love and hate. It's such a thin line that to cross over is so easy. All you do is have a plan and stay consistent. If you will get a plan and stay consistent, you will be successful. It's un, it's inevitable. You just you can't even fail at this plan because you have a plan, okay? And it does work. It's always worked and it always will work. Um, if you are planning to do something, let's just say you were you, you were trying to plan a dinner or mm -hmm. or you were plan trying to plan an event. If you put it together and everybody comes and they eat all that great food and all the ladies cook all the food and they put it all together, it's a wonderful event, right? Right. But if you said, well, I don't care. Let's just, let's just get together. We'll go to McDonald's or something like mm -hmm. that. I don't know, man. I mean, some of that, that doesn't sound too good. It doesn't really work out so well. Sound like a poor man's progressive dinner. <laughs> exactly. You, but, how, but if you'd taken the money and you had bought the food and you had cooked it, it would be, the quality would be much higher. Now, I'm not knocking hamburgers. I know some people like them. Oh, my, yeah. My dad loved them. He's sort of like blimpy on the... If I had ever had a child, I would have named him hamburger. <laughs> That's well, just how much I like him. You wouldn't have named him blimpy? Well, I could have, that could have been his middle name. <laughs> that could have been his middle name, yeah. Yeah, blimpy, you know, on Popeye. You know, uh -huh. like, you know, <laughs> hamburger eater. <laughs> I gladly pay you Tuesday <laughs> for a hamburger today. Yes, he was. So, listen, he had a plan. He did. His plan was to get a hamburger. And pay you next Tuesday. And pay you next Tuesday. And Pretty ingenious, Tuesday man. Tuesday never came. Never came. So, he always succeeded in his plan, man, because he was always consistent. Yeah, he didn't aspire to much, but oh. he had a plan, and, and no he got there. Telling how many millions of hamburgers he ate for free. Exactly. And that came in and saved him in his pocket. There. Uh -huh. So, you can have a plan, and you can make all kinds of money, just by having the plan and putting it together right. And start off by picking up the phone and calling David Ernest at 334-279-7431. Now, I don't want anybody to say I don't give out this number at all because we do it every show to make sure you know to call David at 334-279-7431. And I'm getting a little buzz in my headphones here. It's just about time to go. You don't have a bee in your ear. I, you? that, it may have flew out of my ear. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but uh, we, we're going to have to get out in a couple of seconds here. So okay. you got any funny, any funny uh, uh, requests? Uh, any yes. final? Any, I got, help me. Okay, I'm all right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Just, Make a plan. Don't fail to plan. That's right. I didn't plan those words, and I failed. Yes. That's, that's right. That's it. Make a plan. Don't fail to plan. If you make a plan, you will succeed. And if you're planning on making a plan, let this man plan your plan for you or with you. David Ernest at 279-7431. And we appreciate you dialing us up this afternoon or this evening. And we'll be back sometime soon right here with David Ernest and Health and Wealth.
All matters discussed during the show are for informational purposes only. Each individual situation may vary and the opinions expressed here may not apply to everyone. Materials presented are believed to be from reliable sources and no representations can be made as to its accuracy. All ideas and information should be discussed in detail with one of our qualified representatives.